reported the Russian invasion has triggered the fastest growing refugee crisis in Europe since the Second World War. Almost one and a half million people have fled the country so far. How can Americans help? Let's bring in the president and CEO of AmeriCares, Christine Squires, and the founder and executive director of Global Empowerment Mission, Michael Caponi. Thank you both very much for being with us this morning. Christine, I'll start with you. I understand you have some activity happening in Krakow. Explain what AmeriCares is trying to do. Yes, thank you, Mika. So we have a small team on the ground in Poland, and we are focused on health at AmeriCares. We know what is needed, like you heard from your previous guest, Ulya, is essential medicines and medical supplies. We have a shipment of three tons that's headed into the Ukraine right now, and we know this is just the beginning. We're also ready to deploy emergency medical teams uh, as soon as we can. And what, how are you doing with um, getting the cargo jets uh, that, you know, carry this much needed as, uh, equipment and supplies, medical supplies are the number one ask I'm hearing out of Poland. Um, are companies helping? Do you have the jets needed? Do you have the supplies needed? Mm -hmm. We, we do have companies that are helping, but we know this is just the beginning, and we're going to need to send more supplies. We are, we've been doing this for 40 years in AmeriCares and have seen terrible situations. Um, not a, we're seeing it right now, and we are able to get those supplies where they need to be. So we do have people helping, and we need more help, and the global community needs, needs more help. Uh, Michael, I'm hearing stories from friends of mine in the UK, and they're filling up vans and driving them to Poland. Obviously, that's not something that Americans can do because uh, the, there's a huge ocean in the way. What can Americans do who want to contribute? What would be the most useful thing for them mm -hmm. to be doing? Michael? Michael? Oh, yeah. So we set up here uh, in uh, Jusov, Poland, we set up a very large warehouse already. I've been here for 10 days with our team. So we set up a warehouse that's 40,000 square feet, and we have partnered with all the different uh, local groups, Ukrainian groups, Polish groups, even other European groups, and our U.S. Uh, partner groups. We have a large uh, warehouse in uh, Florida where we amass supplies on a, on a large scale. So we've already committed now to sending 100 containers with uh, approximately $45 million worth of supplies. And that all comes to our Polish uh, headquarters now with a partnership with the former First Lady of Poland, her foundation. And the idea is to be, uh, we're trying to streamline this, right? And we've been at this for a long time. We've seen a lot of the chaos and disorder in different uh, disaster groups and relief efforts. So the idea is that this supply house is where all the other orgs come and get what they need, because there's everything is a different need now. If you have a church in Poland and you have 50 people sleeping on your floor, you're going to need blankets and certain things, and you may not need uh, canned foods, for example, because you're cooking for them. And in a mall where there's 30,000 people sleeping on the floor, they may need 100,000 bottles of water, and they may need 100,000 blankets, right? So we are basically setting this up so that there's an ebb and flow of U.S. and European supplies coming through the uh, supply chain. Then we partnered with, uh, through our Be Strong initiative with Bethany Frankel, funded by Jeffries and many other incredible groups. We put together $5 million now into a relocation fund. We partnered with a local travel agency uh, with four offices in Poland. And we have caseworkers that are various groups. It doesn't matter who the group is or where they are or what ethnic race or what kind of people they are. And the caseworkers collect the data. This family is from Ukraine. They need to go to Dublin, Ireland. We did that yesterday, for example. Or this family needs to go back to Africa. Or this family needs to go back to Canada. You have to try to take the large groups and try to at least sprinkle the uh, effort back into like the whole world. Because there's too many people who are going to be coming here. It's going to be impossible for any of these countries on the border to sustain this. So this yeah. fund that we put together with the Be Strong Fund is basically going to pay the travel agency, which is processing all of these uh, 
families. So we, we're, we've done about 300 uh, families so far, and we expect to do, you know, 10,000 in the next week or two. All right, founder and executive director of Global Empowerment Mission, Michael Capone, and the president and CEO of AmeriCares, Christine Squires, thank you both. To learn more about how to help these organizations, visit globalempowermentmission.org and americares.org. We will put this information on our website as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.